Okay, I'm in the lobby of the Merlot. All right, let's do it. I'm hacking in. Look at that. Secrets and lies floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. We got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians, siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> I think someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Second, the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. It's scanning the system. I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. We are not done. Damien, it's over. I'm disconnecting. Maurice. Yeah? You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Not a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. Gave the order. <laughs> don't you? I don't know. You don't know. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. So what do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was a joke. 
job, man. I didn't know. Who was on the other end of the call? Give me a name. They never gave me a name. Yeah, I'll tell your name. Boom. I didn't know about any kids, all right? That wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys... I heard stories, man, are like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Some things you can't walk please, away from. Please! Who gave the order? I spoke to them on the phone and they told me where to find you. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. Give me a name. I don't know! A name! Kill me, man. Just fucking kill me. Ah! How's your memory now? Ah. Maurice won't talk to me, but I bet he talked to you. I can't keep running. I can't do it. The fucking Aiden Pierce. I killed his niece. He won't stop chasing me. I wish this guy. What am I gonna do? He keeps coming. I need to keep moving. Yo, Maurice! Yo, it's shaking, motherfucker. Shit! Where the hell you been? What? He's talking to me. I leave you for two minutes. Give me my bullets. I tossed them. But you said you'd kill them otherwise. I told you to hold on to them, Jordy. Where you been, anyway? I had to make a call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of here. No, too late. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. <laughs> huh. Nice shot. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You did? Oh, yeah, true story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pow, 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 pow. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. You'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. Great. Punctual cops. I'm gonna handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice? What do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Hey. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourselves. Body here. Definitely a viceroy. Here's the weapon. Gunshot wounds. I got another corpse. Another viceroy. <laughs> Victimless crime, then. What the hell? The biggest game of the season to pull this shit. I'm trying to ruin it for everybody? <laughs> Roger the polls now by Jorge Sanova, who ended with an outstanding 15-7 record last season. We're watching an epic confrontation between two old rivals here today, and this game couldn't be any closer. Big base steals on this team with 27 steals this series, but Sanova's watching them like a hawk. Looks like it unlocks from the other that's side. That's a pitch and a hit, and it looks like... Yeah, that's a foul ball. Roger's not falling for that one. Both men, of course, experts at the mind game. 
two on, two out, folks. Something's gonna give soon, and it could go either way. Sonova pitches, that's a big hit! See anything? Nope, quiet here. We've got a known vice boy in the VIP lounge. We're gonna... He's not moving unless I give him a reason. Just talking. Hey, look, I got my tickets right nope. here. No, Yo. keep your hands where I can hey, see them. Hey, this is bullshit. Jay didn't do nothing wrong. Get back now. You're vice wars, aren't you? That ain't illegal, right? Don't get smart. Bad boy. The police are about to lock this whole place down. I'm stuck unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. To the whole stadium? I thought you wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. All these cops, there's gotta be one around. Hey, you Alan? Yeah, I am. You got an evacuation plan, right? Of course we do. Good, we need to get moving on it. We're not going to evacuate 40,000 people so we can play cowboys and Indians. But you got an isolated incident in the basement, we can close the basement. I got no problem with that. This whole place is about to fill up with Chicago PD. That's going to cause a panic. We need to shut the game down and get people out of here safely. Oh, shut it down? I, I can't make that call. Well, then call somebody who can. Jordy. What? Gone? I'm allergic to cops. So is Maurice. But don't worry, I left you a present. Friend of a friend deals in pre owned cars. Got a real beauty waiting for you in the garage across the street. Tell you to leave it. I saw a bunch of cops fly by out there. Gotta go. That's a lot of sirens for a blackout. Hey, Jordy, what's going on? We should stay put. What's going on? Listen to that.
got the goddamn trigger man. Just need to break through. How? Push Maury's hard. Torture's not gonna work on this guy, so I need to get inside his head. The guilt is eating him up. I'll give him a couple of days. I bet he'll start reaching out. Permiso. These guys. I heard stories, man, that like nothing I've ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Why are you sitting here? He's coming, right? Not like last time. Jackson, I did invite him. It's been so long. Are you sure you called the right number? Honey, your uncle's a different kind of person. It doesn't mean he doesn't love us. Finding Maurice was correct. We've gained access to the CTUS backdoor while the police were being distracted by you. Since we both win in this, we'll share what we have. That backdoor allows you some access to the CTUS network. I'm still working on something bigger. Give me time. Mm -hmm. 